They gathered in front of a marina in Jersey City, a backdrop of pleasure craft big and small, to make the contrast between those of means, who are able to maintain a certain lifestyle in the middle of a global pandemic, and the rest of the state, workers deemed essential, who are facing tough times. With help from state programs vanishing from an austere budget, a coalition of groups called on the state legislature to roll back tax breaks they say were given to the wealthy during the previous administration so they can help fund COVID-19 recovery efforts. It's almost 130 days. Our communities have been without relief. No money for rent, no income, no money for food, no health care. And when we call Trenton, what do we hear? There's no money. We have to make cuts, billions and billion dollars in cuts. How can this be true? Look behind us. We see all of these votes. Look at all of the votes behind us. We are a wealthy state. We are a state of millionaires and billionaires. And we are a, we are a, a state rich with the power of working class people. Demonstrators point out that a 2015 tax break for pleasure craft like these was a break to wealthy New Jersey boaters at the expense of working families. They say the state could save $15 million a year by restoring the so-called yacht tax break alone. They say other tax breaks have helped to widen the gap between the wealthy and the working class. We know that it doesn't have to be this way, but we do know that it's a result of years of uh, neglect, years of political cowardice and unwillingness to actually ask the folks who are profiting off of our suffering to pay their fair share, um, to, to pay the money that's owed to us as workers, money that should have gone to us as wages. It's completely uh, abhorrent. But Republican lawmakers see things differently. They say the state is on its way to an insolvent future, not because of tax breaks for wealthy residents, but because of runaway spending on the very types of social programs demonstrators here support. The only people we are hurting right now in a state that is already hurting significantly are our manufacturers and the people working at these facilities who are who were all furloughed out of work and are finally getting back on their feet. And for what? We're borrowing 10 billions of dollars without voter approval right now, circumventing the Constitution, doing something that's arguably not even legal in this state. That's the $10 billion borrowing authority lawmakers are about to give the governor. Put the 15 percent across the board department cuts the governor has ordered on top of continued unemployment and the general economic malaise of the state's economy. And you could conclude that we are all adrift economically except that some boats are bigger than others. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.